everyone, welcome to Axel's Garage. We're down in Axel's shop, we're doing holster reviews and we got another challenger. Now, our holster review videos are not sponsored by any holster company. We buy predominantly, almost all of them, ourselves, with our own money. There was one holster that, that didn't fit in the $40 price point that was sent over to us that we tried out, which was Tolster. We really liked it, but we just want to keep the integrity of our reviews good so we like to go out and, and buy the holsters so instead of having the holster company sponsor it we got a coffee company sponsor it and it's 4q coffee you can see that logo you can see that attitude it's a new york co coffee company born in new york family-run business by a first responder who donates a lot of money to first responder charities they do a, a once a month first responder giveaway it's excellent coffee they got it in, gr in regular grinds and, and K-Cups. It's, it's awesome. I really like it, and I'm kind of particular with my coffee. That's what I've been drinking. There's a link in the description below if you want to check them out. So what do we have? Well, we have Amberide as our number one $40 holster in the $40 holster challenge. They come in at like $27. It's got some drawbacks. You can watch it in the videos. I don't want to rehash the whole Amberide thing. And then Tolster came in and sent us their holsters and their holsters were phenomenal however they're hitting about 60 bucks so they're out of that 40 dollar range that this series is for on a side note watch the toaster review i think it's worth the 60 bucks especially if like most gun owners you got a crate of holsters that you wasted money on just go for the 60 dollar holster and don't look back anyway a viewer recommended a holster that I had never heard of, and it's CYA, CYA Supply Company, right? Um, here, we got their logo there, right? So I go online, and they told me, the viewer told me, check out CYA Holsters. It comes in at the right price point, and it's really good. That's all I needed to hear. Went online, ordered the holster. I got the base holster for a Glock 19. The only upgrade I got was the carbon fiber look finish on it. And it was only because when I went on their website, I got like a 10% promo code. So that 10% promo code paid for the for the finish of the, the nicer carbon fiber. You could get it in plain black, like the toaster I have here, plain black, you know, um, whatever you want. Mine came in at like $38 shipped to my door. Comes in a plain bubble wrap, nothing fancy. This is in the bag. A sticker is in the bag. And a little invoice sticker in the bag. That's it. Nothing fancy, no extra stuff. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, like I said, this is, they call this the base. So it's, it's no options. It's just their base holster, which is what we've been doing with everybody else. We don't need any fancy options. Okay, and here we have it. It is a nice looking holster. It has Phillips head screws on the clip and on the retention, two retention screws, which I do like. The Tolster only had one retention screw, but we didn't have a problem with retention there. It's got a nice clip. It's got their logo embossed or engraved into the, into the clip. It's got you know, nice Cardex. Is it about the same? Let's see here. Looks to be about the same thickness by eye as the Tolster. No sharp edges anywhere. That's a big thing with a lot of the less expensive holsters is they have some sharp edges on them. This one does not. And it does have that, that high, I'm going to call it a tail, that goes against your body so that the Firearms not riding against your body. And it's got G19 engraved into or stamped into the holster, which is nice because a lot of holsters, you know, they, they kind of look very similar. And if you got a, a couple of different firearms and you're grabbing holsters, you, sometimes you don't know what what, what it's for. I, a lot of times I've, I've written with a Sharpie on, on one side or on the inside the best I can to say what, what gun it was for. This looks pretty nice. Comparing it to the Tolster, it has a very similar, very similar markings on it. 
as far as where it's molded. It's a little, some subtle differences, which can make a big difference. You know, subtle differences can make a huge difference when you're actually using the holster. All right, let's see how it goes in. Goes in. No rattle, it's in nice and tight. All right, I haven't adjusted the retention. The, the tail is tight. What I, what I am noticing is, compared to the toaster, and I'll show you, right? The toaster, the back cut on the toaster allows you to get to the magazine release. This one, all right, is covering the magazine release. Now, that's, that's just a personal preference. Some people like to be able to get to the magazine release. Some people want it covered. Some people feel that if it's covered, then you won't mistakenly pop that magazine release. That's personal preference. I've never, you know, I wore this toaster and the and the other toaster for the shield that both have exposed magazine releases I, I for 120 days or so every day, and I never popped a any holster that I ever wore that did, had left the magazine release exposed. I, I never popped one. As far as trigger guard coverage, 100%. Nothing's getting in that trigger guard. It is. It is completely covered. It's nice. It fits nice. It looks like it's made well. Let's do our, our ridiculous, ridiculous drop test, right? Retention test. Because people hate when I do the retention test. Now, I didn't adjust this. It's out of the box like this. And it feels about right. But I'm just shaking, okay, right? So now let's wait it a little bit. Nothing in the chamber. We'll put a, a full magazine in just to give it some more weight. And we'll do my ridiculous shake test. And look at this. This is the first holster. Oh, I got it out finally. I had to use two hands up. This is the first one that it didn't... Wow. That is pretty cool. Because every other one, and if you watch my videos, I do this ridiculous test that people laugh about, but I grab it by the clip with one hand with the, the full magazine in it, and I can't do this one. I can't get it out unless I shake it with two hands and give it a little more shaking. So this definitely has a higher level of retention. Not that any of the other ones we tested had an issue with retention. It was just that some of them were held it better than others. And you could see some of them, it fell out right away. Some of them, it didn't. But this one, the only thing that I see just off the bat is how this, this tail is not right up against the side of the firearm there. So let's compare it to the Tolster. All right, see how the Tolster's tail is tucked much tighter much tighter here so there's a there's a, a gap right there now will that be a pinch point only time will tell this is cya holsters like i said simple bubble envelope nothing crazy nothing fancy uh, they threw a sticker in and an invoice We've been finding simpler is better. When you get a holster and it's got a whole bunch of shit in the bag, it's usually less quality than something that's just simple. I, I think it's going to work out. It's already got a 0 to 15 degree cant. It already looks like it's at, it's at 15 degrees. Let me see if I could adjust. Uh, that's all the way at 15 already. Okay. So... They say 0 to 15, it it'll fit Glock uh, 19, 19X, 44, 45, Gen 3 to 5, Glock 23, 32, Gen 3 to 4. It is right hand draw carbon fiber, it is the base, it's got a lifetime warranty, and it's a, right on there, veteran owned, made in the USA, that's what we like to see right there. Adjustable cant, 0 to 15 degrees, and adjustable retention. I am not going to touch the retention because it feels pretty good. And as you saw in the drop test, it is spot on. I'm just going to tighten up my 
clip screws so, just a little bit. Is the CYA holster? Uh, out of the box, looks pretty good. Oh.